Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Gatling guns are the cornerstone of present-day military operations, possessing unexcelled firepower, functionality, and dependability. Launching a rapid-fire barrage in small bursts is important to suppress enemy forces and defend key positions. As aerial combat gained predominance, the need for such a powerful weapon grew. Gatling guns were first introduced in warfare during the American Civil War. This gun was designed by Richard Jordan Gatling and served by Union forces at the Siege of Petersburg in 1864. Its use brought an incredible amount of firepower to the battlefield and thus permitted the bombardment of enemy troops. After a few decades, the Gatling-type guns were used on aerial vehicles. First was a Lockheed F-104 Starfighter, which mounted the M61 Vulcan Cannon, a six-barrel rotary cannon, in 1959. By adapting the Gatling design to aircraft, fire was rampant and sustained aircraft could obliterate enemy humans on a continuous, stable basis. A new era of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations had begun. Perhaps one of the most renowned aircraft to carry a Gatling gun is the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II, more popularly known as the Warthog. Born in the early 1970s, the A-10 was specifically built to provide close air support for ground forces. It was driven by a need for an aircraft capable of loitering at low altitudes, allowing it to target enemy armored vehicles and tanks. The Cold War context, with the potential threat of large-scale armored warfare, particularly in Europe, played a significant role in its conception. The A-10's rugged design focused on survivability, ensuring it could withstand heavy damage and continue flying. This durability made it a favorite among ground troops and a critical asset in operations. Its first major combat role came during the Gulf War in 1991, where it proved its worth in numerous ground attack missions, solidifying its reputation as an incredibly effective close air support platform. Looking at the specifications, the A-10 is a single-seat airplane, ranging from 53 feet, 4 inches in length, by 57 feet, 6-inch wingspan, and 14 feet, 8 inches in height. The dedicated wings of 506 square feet were designed to provide stability and control at low speeds, and are perfectly suited to carry out close air support duties. The empty weight of this aircraft is 24,959 pounds. It has a gross takeoff weight of 30,384 pounds and a maximum takeoff weight of 46,000 pounds. For various missions, maximum weights have been given as 47,094 pounds for close aerial support and 42,071 pounds for aerial anti-armor missions. Internal fuel is 11,000 pounds, which provides a great loiter time over battle zones.
The plane is powered by two General Electric TF34GE100A turbofan engines, producing 9,065 pounds of thrust, which provides sufficient power to accomplish both high and low altitude strike missions. The A-10 is a low-wing, jet-wing aircraft with a maximum speed of 381 knots at sea level and a cruising speed of 300 knots. The stall speed is at a gross weight of 30,000 pounds. That is a speed of 120 knots or 138 miles per hour. The combat radius of the A-10 is approximately 250 nautical miles, allowing it to loiter over the battlefield for extended periods in support of ground troops. The ferry range is 2,240 nautical miles, or 2,580 miles, providing wide operational flexibility. The rate of climb is 6,000 feet per minute, while the maximum altitude is 45,000 feet. The maneuverability of the A-10 results from its wing loading of 99 pounds per square foot and its thrust to weight ratio of 0.47, allowing it to fly long distances with a heavy load of fuel and ammunition. These specifications highlight why the A-10 remains a crucial asset in modern military operations, particularly in its role as a reliable close air support aircraft. The specifications of the A-10 Thunderbolt II are impressive, yet it is the A-10's firepower that defines its ultimate role in battle. Central to its arsenal is the GAU-8A Avenger, a formidable 30mm rotary cannon that holds 1,174 rounds. The A-10 can hardly carry a different sort of armament on its 11 hardpoints, eight under the wings and three under the fuselage, with a total load of 16,000 pounds. The A-10 can carry a range of rockets from the Hydra 70mm to the LAU-61 and LAU-68 pods. The APKWS from the LAU-131 pod is guided by laser and a common choice for air-to-air -air combat. For self-defense, the airplane is armed with AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles, while AGM-65 Maverick missiles are a usual choice to strike ground targets. The A-10 carries arresting devices and avionics systems, such as the AN-AAQ-28V-4 Lightning, or the AN-AAQ-33V Half Sniper, all of which enhance its accuracy and operational capability. In electronic warfare, the A-10 carries AN-ALQ-131 or AN-ALQ-184 ECM pods to defend against the enemy's missile systems. This array of armaments and electronic countermeasures is why the A-10 remains a competitive force for the close air support mission. While the A-10 Thunderbolt II is a notable example of an aircraft utilizing Gatling-style weaponry, modern aircraft like the F-35 Lightning II also incorporates these systems, highlighting their ongoing relevance in air combat. The Gatling gun in these aircraft, including the F-35, is typically covered with a cap that only opens during firing.
This design helps maintain the stealth profile of the aircraft by reducing its radar cross-section when the gun is not in use. The F-35 Lightning II, a product of Lockheed Martin, presents a big leap in the evolution of combat aircraft technology. It is a family of all-weather, stealth, supersonic, multi-role fighters for operations designed for various missions, including air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance. The F-35 has been designed into three variants. The F-35A, with conventional takeoff and landing. The F-35B, with short takeoff and vertical landing. And the F-35C. Each variant has been tailored precisely to operational requirements in the U.S. Air Force, Marine Corps, and Navy, respectively. One of the key features of the F-35 is the electro-optical targeting system, allowing enhanced targeting capabilities integrated into the aircraft's structure. The system comes with high-resolution imaging, automatic target tracking, laser designation, and myriad functions required for precise engagement against ground targets, while preserving aircraft stealth characteristics. This represents a massive advancement in sensors' capacities that have fully integrated forward-looking infrared and infrared search and track functions that increase the situational awareness of the pilot and achieve their targeting precision in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground operations. Since its introduction in 2006, the F-35 has relied on the formidable Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine. Its reliability parallels that of its predecessor, F-119, used in the F-22. This lineage has provided the F-35 a safe flying time of over half a million hours since its introduction. Initially, when moving from twin-engine to single-engine aircraft, there were some concerns regarding redundancy and safety. Looking ahead, the F-35 will be seeing some serious upgrades, enhancing its already formidable operational capability. The airframe and systems have undergone multiple upgrades, costing upwards of $7 billion, while the F-135 engine itself has not been modernized since it was fielded. The Block 4 upgrade, set for completion in 2028, will take the F-135 engine beyond the specifications it was originally engineered to meet. Two main paths will be considered, either upgrading the existing F-135 engine or introducing brand new adaptive engine technology. Strategies currently favor an upgrade of the existing engine as it is favored because of its direct cost effectiveness and lesser complexity of integration. This also meets budget requirements and ensures that updates can go quickly and into service to keep the F-35 on the cutting edge of aerial combat. In the A-10, the Gatling gun's devastating firepower is integral to its role in close air support, while in the F-35, the integration of the Gatling gun enhances the aircraft's versatility in both air-to-ground and air-to-air -air combat. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.